Hi everyone, welcome to the frequency domain. In this video we are going to use ADS software to verify our last design, Macro Epileptic Low Pass Filter. Before beginning, if you haven't watched our previous video, you may want to take a quick look at that video first. We'll start by going to this parameter palette and add a 50 ohm termination to the window. Everything else we need to do this simulation is here in Microsoft Palette. So let's get us started. This is how the filter looks like and we also have to add a macro strip substrate based on the substrate that we have already used in the design step. Next we add an S parameter simulation engine and we want to have a frequency response from 10 MHz to 30 GHz with 10 MHz steps. Now it's time to set the variables. Everything is set, we save our design, but before hit the simulation button, let's take a quick look on the layout first. As you can see, we have a problem in the layout. These two lines in here are overlapped. This happens at high frequencies because the wavelength is too short. In order to fix that, we are going to add four 45 degrees bends in these points. So in the micro receipt palette we select a bend. For the meter factor we are going to set it to 0.2. Remember that as you increase this number you are going to have a long and narrow bend which at some point it may become a PCB fabrication problem. Also should take into account the length of the bends and subtract them from the first and last sections. So I have checked this before and around a width of the line is enough. Now let's see how it's worked. We have to make some changes manually. This is one possible way to draw the layout. It has distributed more vertically or we can change it to a more horizontal layout. And this is the new look. You have to know that these two forms doesn't have an effect on the response of the schematic simulation. 
and if you want to see the differences you should run an EM simulation let's get back to the schematic window and run the simulation here is the frequency response of our filter as expected we have a flat response below 10 GHz and about 40 dB of loss at 14 GHz We can further optimize the 3 dB bandwidth by introducing a correction factor. Now we run it again and you can see that the 3 dB bandwidth frequency has changed to exact 10 GHz. Thank you all for watching this video, as always we hope that you find the video useful and we are so appreciated if you share your thoughts about the video in the comment section. If you liked the video please don't forget to hit the like button and you're welcome to subscribe the channel for more videos. See you next time.